I'm gonna show you how to land a tech job without competing against thousands of other developers. There are hidden opportunities right now in this market that have barely any competition and that actually pay more than the positions that you see on job board. And today, I'm gonna show you exactly how to find them. In the last five years, I went from zero dollars to a senior software engineer who made over $700,000. I've led multi-million dollar projects. I worked in tech startups in LA, in New York, in some of the best offices in the world. And I'm helping thousands of developers do the same with this YouTube channel. Later in this video, I'm gonna share with you my personal a list of 125 companies that are currently hiring developers and that have lower competition. But before that, let me show you the three powerful job search strategies that most developers don't even know about. Strategy number one, the LinkedIn URL hack. Look, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm fully against job boards like Glassdoor, Indeed, Talents.com, etc. All of them. It's like a battlefield where everyone is competing for the same positions. It's the equivalent of just throwing your resume into a black hole. I was recently on a call with a brother who spent the last year applying to over 2,000 companies through job boards. And you know the result? Nothing. He's still searching. Imagine how many other people are doing the exact same thing. It's insane. But there is actually only one specific use case where I would still use a job board. You see, most people, they filter job boards by the past 24 hours to get recent jobs and then they think they're ahead of the game. But what if I told you that there is a hack to see jobs that were posted just a few minutes ago so that you can be the very first one to apply? Here is how. So you're gonna go on LinkedIn and you'll open the job board and you'll see here, there's a bunch of different jobs, but the problem is <laughs> like they all have over 100 applicants. And when LinkedIn says over 100 applicants, you have no idea if it's like 200, 500, 1000, 2000. It could be a lot of people. So this is not good for us. We're gonna filter by jobs posted in the past 24 hours. But 24 hours, you'll see that it's not good as well because a lot of jobs posted in the past 24 hours still have a lot of competition. You see even this one here already, like over 100 people clicked on apply. So what happens is when you select this filter, the past 24 hours filter, there is a new query parameter that appears in your URL. And it's this one right here. F underscore TPR. You see the number here, 86,400. That's the number of seconds in a day. This means that you can tweak this parameter to get jobs posted way earlier. So for example, if I do this and I load, I'm gonna get jobs posted way more recently. So here, 34 minutes ago. This one, 30 minutes ago, only two applicants. This one, 25 minutes ago, zero applicants. This one, 24 minutes ago, 13 minutes ago, 41 minutes ago. And that's a hack that you can use 19 minutes ago. I don't know actually how this one already has more than 100. 20 minutes ago, or maybe they refreshed it. Uh, this one, 12 minutes ago, eight applicants. So use this hack to find jobs before everyone else. Now, the next strategy will surprise you. One of my students literally used it to talk to the CEO of a company directly, and he landed the job immediately. Strategy number two, niche tech communities. Before I share my next strategy, I'm actually selecting five developers for the next batch of my career accelerator. We're gonna help you land an AI developer role in the next six months or you get a full refund. If you wanna get a free career call with me, click the link in the description and book a slot. It's on lastcodebender.com slash accelerator. The spots get filled quickly, so don't wait. Now, let me tell you about Abraham, one of my students. While everyone else was applying on job boards, he utilized what I call the sniper strategy. He joined the Discord server of Vapi. It's a low-code AI voice agent platform. You see, Abraham was interested into voice AI as a technology and he was playing around with different tools. He joined that community and he noticed that they had a job posting channel. There, he spotted the message of a CEO looking to hire developers. He messaged him immediately, talked to the CEO and secured a job like that. So here is what you need to do. Make a list of the tech companies that you have used in the past, maybe in projects, maybe tools that you have used, things that you have an interest in. Find all the communities for all those technologies, Discord servers, Slack channels, whatever it is, join them. If it's AI related, it's even better. So if it's AI tools, AI APIs, it's better because those technologies are very hot right now, so you're gonna get more opportunities. Monitor the job channels on those communities very attentively. And whenever you see an opportunity, be the first to respond and you're gonna get opportunities that others won't. Now I wanna share with you my favorite strategy. This is the strategy that has given the best results for my students. Strategy number three, the hidden market approach. Instead of competing for posted jobs, for like public jobs, we're gonna target companies that are just about to start hiring. How? We're gonna target fast-growing startups that just raised money recently. And these companies are the perfect target because they have fresh money they need to spend on talent. As soon as they raise money, the next thing they need to do is they wanna grow the company. They need to show to their investors that they're growing. So they're gonna hire developers. That's the number one thing, the timing is perfect. 
Next is they're gonna pay very good salaries from $120,000 to $200,000 because they wanna attract good talent and one good way of doing it is by providing very good salaries. Next, those companies have an interview process that is usually easier and faster compared to big tech. It's more practical, there is less lead code. And finally, you're gonna work on cutting edge technology and learn from very smart people working there. So it's gonna be a good boost for your career. To find these companies, there are multiple ways. You can set up a Google alert with your city name plus tech startup funding. You can check out public lists of companies like Crunchbase or Growth List. I've actually personally compiled a list of 125 companies that are recently got funded. You can access it for free. There's a link in the description. My student Ibrahim literally went from applying to hundreds of companies and getting no responses to start to get response within 30 minutes of applying to startups using this strategy. The key is that you need to reach out to companies before they post their job listings so that you're the first in line. Once you find the company, you need to go on LinkedIn and you need to check who are the people who work there. You need to reach out to key hiring decision makers. So if the company is small, you can reach out to the CEO directly, the CTO, the head of engineering. If the company is bigger, like about 50 people or so, then you reach out to engineering managers. And you need to keep improving your approach every iteration. So for example, if you reach out on LinkedIn, improve your profile picture, have like a bigger smile, improve your headline, improve your message request, improve your profile, add more projects, build in public. If you're reaching out to them by email, test different subject lines, make your messages shorter, more impactful, add a loom video to feature yourself. You need to test different approaches to increase your response rates and increase your chances of getting interviews. Ideally, every batch of like 20 companies that you apply to, you try to change and improve something in your approach so that you increase your response rates and you increase the interviews that you can get. Remember, Codebender, when you do the work others want, you'll get the jobs that they can't. Now, I've created a free course of everything you need to break into tech. It contains my best and most useful strategies. It's my most valuable video ever. Check it out. Thank you for watching, good vendors, and assalamu alaikum.